hello students in today's lecture we'll see the problem on curve fitting by the method of least square for the straight line the question is by the method of least square find the straight line that best fit the following data so we will consider a straight line to get this best fit so the given data are for x values are 1 2 3 4 5 and y values are 14 27 40 55 and 68 so this question is repeated many times and one of the year in uh, Jan 2017 this question is already asked so we will see the solution here So let the straight line that is y is equal to a x plus b will do equation number one the normal equation. the normal equation to 1 so we have to prepare a normal equation to this equation number 1 so multiply both the side summation that is summation y is equal to a is a constant summation x plus b and multiply x to the x variable independent variable on both the side so here y is dependent and x is independent so we have to multiply independent variable on both side so a summation x y is equal to a into summation x square plus here n we have to multiply purely constant so once you get a variable n we have to remove and we have to write b into summation x so this is our equation number two so based on this we have to get a table so the table means we need uh, the value of summation y, summation x, summation xy, summation x square and summation x already we have here. So we will see the table now. So in this table we have to get the values of these. So we must prepare first part here uh, values uh, for x, y from the given table. So values of x is what here? 1, 2, 3, 4 and 5 the value of x and the values of y they have given as 14, 27, 40, 55 and 68. So we have to get a summations for this. So these summations. So just to, I want to show you this uh, calculation with the help of calculator also. So the values here I will check so set the mode and you can find here second option is stat so second option is stat so I will press that stat second uh, sorry third one is stat so press third so you can find here 1 minus VAR second one is A plus BX A plus BX is a straight line so third one you can see here dash plus C X square this is a parabola and like that we have other curves here so uh, right now we are dealing with a plus bx this is the second one belongs to what here a straight line so uh, I will press 2 so once you press 2 it will ask the value of x it will ask the value of y so in this value of uh, uh, in the column so what value we have here the same value will enter so for x and y for first we will enter for the x value so x values are 1 equal to 2 equal to 3 equal to 4 equal to 5 equal to so once you will get you check with the center button so whether you have taken all the values or no correctly so once you find uh, x values go for the side cursor so that it will jump to the y values so y values are as per the table it is 14 for 27 40 55 68 we'll enter that one so 14 14 
equal to then 27 then 40 55 and 68 so we got the values of y and so so if you want you can cross check by using what here central uh, cursor button so that uh, the values of x and y what you will take it's supposed to be same as what they have given in the question so once you get then you press ac button so if you press ac button the screen will be clear then you have to go back to the shift and one so shift and one one belongs to out here stat you can see here one belongs to uh, uh, stat so we want to go for stat means i will press one so once you press one so you will find on the screen uh, the different uh, options here uh, first one type second one data third one sum fourth one variance uh, fifth one is a regression and many um, and maximum and uh, many things so we'll go for the third one that is sum that is three you press so once you get so you will get a requested uh, uh, summations directly from the calculator so uh, i want to go for a summation of x i want to enter this value i want to enter here so you can find here so i want to get the get to know the value of summation x so summation x is here option 2 so press 2 equal to sign so how much we got 15 you press 15 this means once we get the answer summation you can cross check with the manual also you will get the same similarly if you want to go for a summation y value go back to again shift 1 that is 1 belongs to stack then we will go for option 3 then i want the value of summation y summation y so here the number is uh, summation y is 4 so press 4 equal to sign how much you will get in this here 2 not 4 so right 2 0 4 so once we get so we have to make it like that now so similarly you can go for a uh, uh, remaining value also for us first find we will find our values of here but right now uh, for this is a manual calculation i am doing uh, so that we will get the values of x y and we will get, we'll get the value of x square here now so 1 into 14 is 14 then 2 into 27 if you calculate it will become 54 3 into 40 is 120 4 into 55 is 220 then 5 into 68 is 340 and similarly 1 square is 1 2 square is 4 and 3 square is 9 4 square is 16 5 square is 25 so I will go back to the already data is already stored here so just I want to show you the summations so if you calculate manually so the summation of if you add these all summation will be 7 8 48 it will be 7 and check once again it is 7 48 and if you add these 1 plus 4 plus 9 plus 16 plus 25 we will get this summation as 55 now just see uh, or, or again i will show the, uh, by using the calculator here so shift 1 that is stat so option 3 that is 3 if you take so i want a summation of x y that is fifth one phi equal to you see that 7 4 8 so the same value we have here 7 4 8 and uh, again go back to the shift 1 and 3 i want a summation of x square that belongs to 1 so 1 equal to you will find 55 so you will got the uh, summation of x square here also what here 55 only so like that you can just cross check your summation by using the calculator also that is one of the technique i can uh, you can check for for the simplification of this problem so once we get all these summations then we have to work out for what here uh, the values of a and b means these summations we need to apply in equation number two that is a normal equation and we will get uh, the equation as so the summation I have taken so I will apply in equation number 2 that is summation y value summation y value is 204 
equal to a is a constant summation x value a is 15 15 a plus n value so n value is if you count it so it is phi so phi times b next in second equation summation of x y value is 748 equal to a times summation of x square so summation of x square is 55 into a plus summation of x it is 15 so 15 b or the above equation will rewrite it as 15a plus 5b equal to 204 and 55a plus 15b is equal to 748 so we'll solve these two equations by using the calculator so I have taken so you will observe here go to the mode select uh, equation that is option 5 and select one, one, first one so we will get the values of uh, we can apply the values of a b and c so a value coefficient of a is 15 equal to coefficient of b is 5 equal to coefficient of c is 204 equal to it will go for the second equation second equation coefficients we have to apply 55 15 7 48 equal to once again press equal to sign so we got this x belongs to a value here because first variable is a second variable b so this value belongs to always a so it, you we got 68 upon 5 you press sd so you will find a 13.6 a is equal to 13.6 press once again you will get the value of y as here it is showing it is 0 so we got the value of a got the value of b so therefore thus the equation 1 becomes y is equal to a x a value is 13.6 into x plus b value is 0 so therefore finally y is equal to 13.6 x is the required best fit for the given data for x and y so in this way we need to simplify a problem based on curve fitting using the method of least square for the curve straight line.